Hello YouTube family, welcome to, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita and welcome. And in today's video, I am giving you fragrances that are hyped. But in my opinion, they really are worth the hype and I'm going to tell you why. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into today's video. All right, you all, so before we start, as always, be sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure notification bell is turned on and set to all so you don't miss any of my uploads. And also, be sure, it's very important that you give your girl a big thumbs up. It helps my channel to grow, okay? So the first one, I will say this one is definitely more so hyped up on like your Instagram and TikToks, but I finally was able to try this on skin when I was out of the country and I immediately, like the first thing I did when I got back was buy a full bottle. This is Le Papier and this is from Diptyque. And this is so, so, so beautiful, you guys. This to me smells like warm, steamy rice and like warm, fresh, high thread count sheets or towels. <laughs> like this is a very clean, laundry experience, but I don't want to say laundry as in like washing powder soapy. I mean laundry as in if you could put a smell to like beautiful white towels at a spa that had been sitting in a warmer bin and you take that out and there is a feeling that you get from that. That is the feeling that this fragrance has. Okay. That is, oh God, let me just like, if you want to smell like airy and musky, but woody. Like if that makes sense to you, then this little baby right here is really what you need to explore. I feel like this is gonna be one of those scents where it's either you are madly in love with it or you're just like, I'm not feeling it. I don't get it. <laughs> so all the more reason to try before you buy it. But for me, this one was a love at first sniff and I totally get why so many people love this. And I feel like it's not super challenging for a diptyque um, because some of their fragrances can be a little, you know, I don't have any in my collection anymore. I had one, decluttered it because I just, it smelled great, but I wasn't gravitating towards it. But this one, I am so happy to have. You do have a sesame note mentioned in there, but this doesn't come off as sesame or nutty or anything like that. I feel like, like I said, the sesame is actually coming off like a steamed rice. So if that sounds like your vibe, if you love like airy, but woody, musky scents, then I think that you would enjoy La Papier. Again, this one is from the house of Diptyque. So the next hype one is getting a lot of hype this summer uh, because I just feel like it's so easy to like. And this is a summer coconut scent that we've seen a hundred thousand times, but they got this one right because this is just a scent profile that does not usually wow me. I don't have really any of my collection and I went through the travel size of this one and I said, I have to upgrade to a full bottle. Now, keep in mind that the performance on this is definitely lacking, but Am I expecting five, six, seven hour wear out of something that smells like coconut water and sand? I'm really not. Like you really have to think about what kind of ingredients are in a scent. If you are getting a citrus scent or something like that and you're expecting to have seven hour wear, it's just highly unlikely. If you do get one, it's an anomaly. It's not the norm. Just because certain notes are more fleeting than others, okay? So if you have something that is giving you this suntan, coconut, beach vibe, uh, I'm uh, three, four hours, five max. <laughs> That's what I'm expecting. So if you can just take this for what it is, they have really done a beautiful job with giving us a sweet, feminine, fun, coconut, little fresh scent that gives us all the beach vibes with no weirdness. These type of scents can go very just ozonic, 
a funky, like something about the florals and the, the ozonic quality of a lot of these scents or the solar notes can just go really left on my skin. And I didn't get it with this one. I thought I was going to, I did not. This is summer perfection. It's not taking itself too seriously. It understood the assignment. It's here doing what it's supposed to do. And I feel like so many creators are loving this one. So many people in general are just loving this one because they got it right. <laughs> because they got it right. So Miami Nectar by Ellis Brooklyn, which is my first true experience with the house. They really did the damn thing with this one, all right? It's so easy to wear and super enjoyable. Again, Miami Nectar. So this next one is one that I have talked about till I'm blue in the face and it still gets lots of love and hype now that we've talked about it enough. Uh, so many people have decided to try it. And this gets a lot of hype still and it's so justified. You guys, if you are someone who has not tried Blanche Bet and you are just wondering, girl, what is it about? Just try it, just try it. It's not going for everybody because it's like tonic. Like tonic can just be difficult to digest, wear, especially depending on where you live, the weather, things like that. But this is a beautiful like tonic floral vanilla. There is nothing that truly quite compares to this fragrance, okay? Yes, like we have some that are similar out there, but this one is sheer magic in a bottle. So you do have the jasmine and tuberose. I always explain it to where I feel like they kind of share equal footing. I don't smell this ago. Oh, this is definitely a dominant tuberose scent. I don't get that. I get white florals, okay, a mixture of, <laughs> and I get lots of beautiful, muskiness and the musk is very clean and white so you don't have to worry about it getting um like weird and adding malic on your skin at all and you've got a slight dusting of cacao which gives it a gourmand facet <sighs> so milky and creamy and beautiful and it's like airy the denseness to it but then there's an airiness to it <laughs> there's a sweetness to it there's a sophistication to it it's so many beautiful things but if you love lectonic if you love vanilla if you love gourmands she's probably going to be like right on up there in your masterpiece you know uh realm <laughs> if those are things that you typically enjoy in a fragrance blanche bet by liquid imagineer is often replicated but not quite to, to this level of of sorcery <laughs> magical lovely beautiful masterpiece gourmand blanche bet by liquid imagineer so this next one i feel like it's getting a lot of air time and uh, they got it right <laughs> this creme brulee i can't wait to really wear this one more in fall and winter but honey if you're looking for the the caramelized burnt sugar portion of your dessert on the creme brulee on top then that's exactly what you are getting this is from the house of theodorus calatinus and he's just he just hit the nail on the head so this has notes of like a burnt sugar coconut it's got some vanilla there is a slight creamy lectonic quality about it from the coconut but if you don't enjoy something super lectonic you really don't have to fear that because this one is going to be so much more about the burnt sugar topping of the creme brulee than the full-on dessert experience of the creme brulee so ah, god like it's so sugary sweet you guys it's so sugary sweet i get just a touch of waxiness from it but it is highly addictive and I'm all about finding the nuances with my little, you know, vanilla gourmands or whatever. And I just think that this definitely has a spot in my collection. There's something just a little unique about it compared to all of the other sugary uh, <laughs> vanilla gourmands in my collection. Because again, I'm immediately taken to the thought of creme brulee. The, the burnt sugar portion yeah so creme brulee by theodorus calatinus is absolutely worth the hype that you see it getting on these internets all right so this next one is one i was so reluctant to try by any of that got a sample and it reminded me of something i had in my collection so i was like uh maybe i'll get it in the future but it was being so hyped up i just said you know what? let me just go ahead and get a full bottle valaya <sighs> But the full body wearing experience of it, like I completely forgot that I owned Fleur 
Narcotique after having this one. Same nose, same masterful nose, Quentin Beach Behind Bowl. But the X Mahilo's Fleur Narcotique wears a lot softer. So if you want something that is softer, but white peach, white woods, little mossy, really fresh and musky, that's your girl. If you want a freshie that is a beast mode banger, I'm turning heads on a 100 degree day out here in Hot Lancer, Georgia. Valaya is your girl because this one has so many of the same notes, but it's going to be set apart because it's got that beautiful, peppery, loud Akigala wood note. Okay, the same note that's in Possibilities that makes it a standout. The same note that is in Guidance that makes it a standout. That particular note does things for fragrances. So the same thing with a uh, camera. I mean, everything that it touches seems to be like gold for us ladies, for a, a vast majority of us, okay? Not everybody, everybody don't like Belaya. But this is very beautiful, molecular, clean, musky, woody, and wow, okay? Wow, what are y'all gonna do after this one, Parfums de Marley? Because you got your Delina, you've got your Valaya. We y'all really, really, really need to go ahead and tap Quentin for the next release. You really do if you haven't already because what this has done for that house, what the Delinas have done for that house, as far as their women's line, those are the standouts, period. <laughs> those are the standouts. And honestly, all the other Parfums to Marley's women's line is not all that memorable. They, they really are not, not compared to these two, <laughs> well, four technically. But Belay is definitely a hyped fragrance from the brand. And it's so not hard to see why. Don't let this clear little white frostiness of a bottle fool you. This is a fresh powerhouse beast mode scent. So last but not least, it's going to be a heavy hitter gourmand that probably is the most popular from this brand between this one and Follow. Um, Unknown Pleasures by Kerosene. Just gotta try it. It's gonna be one of those, either you vibe with it, you think it's like the best thing ever since sliced bread, or you're gonna be like, girl, what is with the Earl Grey tea going on? That is what makes it so beautiful and special. This could have easily fallen into that, oh, another Lyra dupe. Oh, this remind. no, this stands on its own two little feet, okay? So, first of all, it's a beast. So all the other lemon gourmand, they not touching the performance on this, first and foremost. Number two, the way that this is drenched with so much beautiful, robust caramel, your mouth is going to water. It's going to water. But then you have this complexity <laughs> from the spices and the aromatic quality of the tea. And it's just so, 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 so beautiful. Well done, well executed niche perfumery. So I also love the fact that they don't break your bank account, but you're getting a lot of quality. You're getting a lot of juice, um, you know, extra performance projection for under $200. <laughs> okay. So Unknown Pleasures by Kerosene is phenomenal. It's a gourmet masterpiece in my opinion and very hype from the brand, but I don't know why it took me forever, forever to buy this fragrance. I sat on wanting it for like a good two years. Finally just went on ahead, bought it. I don't think I, yeah, I didn't even sample it. Blind buy, immediate love, immediate obsessed, okay? So yeah, Unknown Pleasures by Kerosene. Please get your nose in this because it's very hype, but totally worth it. So you guys, that is our video for today. These are very hyped fragrances that are absolutely worth your time to check out. There is a reason they are hype. Because it's hype doesn't mean you're gonna love it, but at least get your nose on it because you may be pleasantly surprised, all right? So you guys, please drop me a comment below. Let me know some really hype fragrances that actually did work out for you that you were not disappointed by, that you absolutely love. We need to hear it. Drop me a line below. Also, be sure, again, that you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure notification bell is turned on. Give me a big thumbs up. It has some real. I'll be on YouTube, and I will catch you guys on the next one.